Good morning, and here we are in a lovely place called Raby Mayor. And what a bodge up we've got here. Just asked the lady to uh, flush the toilet. So what's happened here is uh, they've put this rubber connector onto the T-junction to incorporate the rainwater off this roof which comes down and connects into that okay drain team so uh, I came to this job uh, initially to kind of just put a blank on and you know supposed to be a 10 minute job uh, it ended up being a little bit more involved uh, and again I'm now in the in the position of um, undertaking some remedial works uh, I've just quoted to put a gully in and new man all top uh, root clearance got to come back with uh, some cut equipment and clear the uh, the drains out so uh, watch the video uh, it's it kind of uh, uh, develops as we go along everyone's difference it's uh, you know you can never assume it's it's going to be five minutes although i always uh do just assume that i'll be in and out in five minutes it never happens that way so that's a bit of a shoddy job isn't it uh <clears throat> throw the paper in there Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll um, I blank that off, I'll redirect the rainwater pipe. Uh, it does collect water around here, so I've suggested to the customer that uh, potentially I could put a gully in there. So that's something for them to think about. So let's just have a... Hey, hey. Roland's on the scene. After the sweet corn, no doubt. So I've just found that um, it's actually holding water uh, in that gully, sorry, in that, uh, uh, inside that pipe. So let's go over to this manhole, see if we get this manhole up, quick look in there. For a while, this dry as a bone. Dry as a bone. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll move over and jet it from the actual source up by that uh, rest bend. So if I go in there and uh, see what happens. Yep. 
seems to have uh, the level has dropped. So let's have a look anyway. Three corn, yeah, boss. Nope. Let me get some sweet corn, we're not with our mate. So to me, it looks like that flagstone is covered in uh, some kind of manhole. And that sounds very much like running freely in there. You know what? Could be some tree roots or, or anything in there. So I, I think what I'll do is uh, I'll dig that up and move it and have a look. But I'm certainly not coming back and filling up again. Okay, so didn't expect to be doing this, but in for a penny, in for a pound. They've put a flagstone over the top of this, I don't know. But 
That's just not the reason why. Oh. I was at the physiotherapist yesterday. Uh, get me back eased off because um, the back goes very very tight uh, the muscles and it's years of guess being in these awkward places this, is, this hasn't been up for a long long time Question is, will we get it up? Yes, we will. I think we need the trusty hammer. If in doubt, give it a clout. There's going to be a bit of uh, remedial work required here, for sure. In fact, might be time to put a new lid and frame on it, I don't know. So, literally, that lid is not going to come out of this frame. Bit of a mess down there. Have a have a look in here. Okay, so that. is um, the one coming off the uh, the rest bend so to clear all that out of there uh, give that that branch a, a quick clean out and um, I recommend some uh, remedial works to be done on this uh, manual Of this. Uh, I've found you at another manhole other than that one over there uh, which isn't associated with this side of the drainage if you just have a just watch you don't trip on that that hose if you just have a look in there this is the manhole which serves this um, yeah this uh, toilet here yeah. and it's this one here which uh, comes out and discharges into the main sewer so what I'll do is I'll clear all of that out. Yeah. But if you see on the right hand side, yeah. you've got a massive big um, issue there. That really needs to be done because that potentially could be um, uh, rats or something getting in there. Mm. Um, because, you know, they like the drains. There's a source of uh, food for them and that. Uh, so I'll clear that out. I'll put a jet up here. It's only a small run, but that's why it it actually was holding a bit of water, and that's why I've I've kind of done what I'm yeah. what I've done. Now the uh, manhole cover is um, end of life. It's pretty much um, rusting away. Yeah. What I suggest is uh, you'd uh, raise your piggy bank and employ me to put you a new. Um, access cover on okay. it doesn't have to be at um, 
you know a heavy duty one it can be a pedestrian one you know a more lightweight um cover because there's yeah. nothing it's only under under here yeah. uh but in the meantime what i'll do is i'll just clear this out jetty and then as i say if you if you want me to get a new manhole lid i'll i'll put that on yeah. needs needs you know re-cementing and everything yeah. frame and yeah. all right yeah. so i'll do that now i'll just get some bags and clear that through yeah So they always they always start out as like a simple simple thing, simple job, and then you end up getting involved in something a bit different. But I know it's uh no another another interesting job. A few roots going on. Some big roots in there, mate. Yep. <laughs> Blimey. Turn the jetter back on. See what we can blast out of here. Okay, it's not great. Um, what I'm going to do is arrange to come back uh, and put uh, root cutting stuff, uh, you know, the chain and the so customers just on a flush test. It's flushing okay, but it's not great. The roots are well uh, entrenched in that in that drain, so. So I need to I need to come back and sort that out. I don't have no no cutting equipment with me. Plus I was coming out for a five minute job this morning and ends up uh, you know quite in depth like. Okay. Yeah, so there's roots inside this this drain. Mm -hmm. Um you know, really heavy duty roots that I can't clear with the jetter. Okay. Um I'm gonna have to. I mean, it's running okay, but yeah. it's not. It's not perfect. 
Mm -hmm. uh, assuming you want a new manhole cover fitting, because that one's all rusted away, mm -hmm. I can come back, put the manhole cover on, yeah. and put the root cutting equipment in and clear that drain through. Right, okay, yeah. Um, potentially, it would be an idea to put a gully in, yeah. and you could come straight in yeah. to this, uh, this manhole now that we know it's here. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be such an extensive dig. Uh, I could literally just bring it in further up, show it. It's only rainwater. It's just going to uh, cascade down the benching. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can repair all the inside of that at the same time. Yeah. And would you say it's, it's holding the water up? Is it just roots to just? There's roots in there, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a tree. Okay. So. That's a bird's eye view inside there. Okay, so apart from the fact that we've got roots in the initial job was to uh, put a blank in, stop the uh, issue of sewage coming out of here. What's that? And um, this is a temporary fix because I think the customer's uh, kind of quite keen on the idea of me putting a gully in here and running it into the uh, running it into the uh, manhole that we've just found. <clears throat> so it's a temporary fix. I just let's put this back together the best I can. back in the day. Screw stuff together so it doesn't fall off. Might put a screw through there as well. In fact I will. These are self uh, drilling screws. Got to drill. It's a knot on the end but you get the uh, the drill bit for it, it's all good, isn't it? Put one in the bottom there, so this this doesn't actually fall off. And uh, depending on how temporary the job is, because you know sometimes people don't get round to doing these things for months. Okay, so that's going nowhere. Job, jobs are good. This is a bit of a weird uh, adapter they've, they've put on for that, but there's no sewage going to come out of that now. No sweet corn for you, mate. Back in the van with you. Let's get rid of all this now. Uh, I'll jet this area around here to get rid of the sewage, put a bit of uh, disinfectant down, and jobs are good. Disinfectant. Leave that like that. Drops a button. Like my nose back on. 
turn this jet it off. days Whew. so lovely place isn't it lovely garden problem with these gardens like is when you've got all the trees running down where the drains are you're always going to get um, issues with roots so I'm going to come back and uh, clear them roots with uh, mechanical cutting equipment Hopefully I'll put a new manhole lid on, tidy it up, and uh, if the job's done right, we'll be putting a gully in down there, and we'll put it directly into that manhole. So, always appreciate the likes, and uh, new subscriptions, and uh, especially uh, all the... Uh, supportive comments uh, really appreciate it. it makes the um the whole process of you know producing these little videos much more enjoyable uh, i really feel that there's this kind of good community growing around uh, what i'm doing and generally the uh, the drain cleaning industry you know there's some really good uh, guys out there you know got a lot of time for uh, Mersey rod over the water from me nice fellas um, interesting videos uh, I've also got a lot of time for, for the guys over in um, Australia penetrator uh, drain addict uh, drain cleaning in Australia Bruce solid guy uh, and of course in the UK we've got loads of good um, drain channels uh, too many to mention to be honest uh, but it's great that there's you know there's a, a community uh, being built around uh, around this industry so thank you very much for your support uh, and uh, catch you on the next one